Assalamualaikum Baraya Nani Still with me Lina Karlina I am English teacher from SMA Handayani 1 Tomoto Today we will learn about passive voice for 11 grades Chapter 5 It's made of glass Chapter 5 In this chapter, we will learn about passive voice, about structure, cultural awareness, when to use, and when to avoid passive voice. Passive voice. A passive sentence is a sentence where the subject is affected by the verb. Subject plus to be plus, plus past participle verb 3. The example is, the sub is closed at 10 p.m. The sub is subject, and is class is verb. In a passive sentence, the most important part is the action. Passive sentences make the text more formal and impersonal. In a passive voice, the person or thing act and come first and the actor is added at the end with preposition by sometimes. The actor is omitted completely. When to use passive voice? The actor is unknown. The example is, the cave painting were made in the upper old stone age. And the second one is, the actor is irrelevant. An experimental solar power plant will be built in the Australian desert. The third one is, to be vague about who is responsible. The example is, mistakes were made. Fourth, when talking about a general truth. The example is, rules are made to be broken. Set, the emphasize the person or team had won. The example is, insulin was first discovered in 1921 by researcher at the University of Toronto. And the last one is, in a scientific genre. The sodium hydroxide was dissolved in water. When to avoid passive voice? Passive voice should be avoided in certain instances in academic writing. When it's when it creates vaguness about the actor, what actor and Lego desire Desdemona, she is quoted. Who quoted Desdemona, Atalo or Lago or both? When you focus on different ID of different sources of or between yours and those Of the research you are discussing, research has been done to discredit this theory. Who did the research? You, a professor or another author. When it makes the text worthy and indirect. Since the car was being driven by Michael at the time of the accident, the damage should be paid for by him. Should, he should pay for the damage. Now, look at the several samples for you. Passive voice in English. Tense. Active. Passive. Present simple. I do my homework. My homework is done. Present continuous. I'm doing my homework. My homework is being done. Past simple. I did my homework. My homework was done. Past continuous. 
I was doing my homework. My homework was being done. Present perfect. I have done my homework. My homework has been done. Past perfect. I had done my homework. My homework had been done. Future simple. I will do my homework. My homework will be done. Future be going to. I'm going to do my homework. My homework is going to be done. Modal. I must do my homework. My homework must be done. Modal perfect. I should have done my homework. My homework should have been done. everyone that's all from me i hope you enjoy our lesson for today don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you for watching see you later assalamualaikum